There's a recipe for a feathered loofa. It's a per se recipe. Yeah? Where have you been? Why? So where have you been? I wouldn't do that with Old War. That was awful because they were so expensive. But um, for a lot of power, like, they're so cheap it doesn't even matter you been. I just realized my stream is looping. Shit. Your stream looks kind of pixelated. Ha! God damn it, Ari. <laughs> I actually looked over to this to this stream to confirm. God fucking damn it. Did you look? Yeah, let me see if I can adjust some settings. Flair's saying that the, my mic's picking up too much of Discord. Too much, too little. Well, my mic is picking up Discord when it should just be through my desktop audio. In theory, switching this over should fix it. no idea if the sound is getting routed correctly or not, so you guys will have to say something for Flair to be able to tell me. I can talk to Flair. How, Flair?
I have no idea what I'm going to do with those stickers from Fantastic. I know what I'm going to do with them. Sit on them forever. Oh my god, that's a huge exclamation point. That is much larger than I thought it would be. Yeah, that, 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 that seems like the plan I'm most leaning towards is never using them ever. Also, I disappointed someone at the grocery store the other day. I'm sure you, well, you disappoint a lot of people. Someone. Ha 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 ha. Calm down no, there, Titus. I was walking through the grocery store and I was wearing my Savior of the Nath t-shirt. Someone commented on it. Like, oh, you play 14. Where did you get that shirt? That's awesome. I was like, eh, you can't get it, I'm sorry. Was like, why not? It was a fantastic exclusive. I you mean, just, you could you get it. someone's hopes and dreams. Yeah, basically. I mean, oh, I, I admitted to myself, I said, well, you could get it if you were planning on going to London in December or Tokyo in February for their fest, maybe. Oh, how do I want to do this? That didn't seem to bring his hopes up. But... Maybe I can just straight grab this and be lazy about it. That happened with my Twitch staff hoodie the other day. What's that? Cashier asked, a cashier asked me where I got my Twitch hoodie. No. But they're only for staff, and he got really sad. Yeah, I'm going to have to save up a few bucks and send some money Ox's way. To get I... that shirt. Ox's way? Oh, yeah, 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 never mind. No, I've, I've definitely, uh, when I was working at Blizzard, I'd made pe I've made people sad with my, um... You know what shirt I'm talking about. Yeah. I've made people sad with my employee shirts before. Sadness for everyone. Ah, oh, perspective in Sprite comics is hard. Perspective is not that hard. No, it's or it's for camera zoom shit. Like I've got an idea in my head. It's just a matter of executing it. I was about to go into a Dalek impression, and then I remembered it was exterminate, not execute. Really? Yeah. At least I stopped myself before I made a fool of myself. I do that enough. Color experimentation.
Oh, this is going to make Guild the Resources a joke, too. Or Order Hall Resources. You can buy those with fucking bloods, too. Your stream title is still Overwatch. Just saying. Is it? Oh, well, maybe I can refresh, actually. Yeah, you may you need to refresh it. You may have had that open before. Because it doesn't auto-update. Well, at least... Oh, okay. Not. Yeah, yeah good. that's me then. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I hit refresh on DeepBot. No, I've had this page open for ages. Oh, whoops. Cut the wrong thing. around with OBS enough for today. When I'm gonna be streaming anyway. When we make Pickup Gamers a thing again? Maybe. It's weird because it doesn't always seem to be picking up what I'm saying. Yeah, it does that. Well, that's weird because when I push my talk, push the talk button, it actually lowers the volume of everything else. So that should be the sign that everything I'm saying is being picked up, but it's not. My favorite is when I've got all the settings set up correctly because I have a setup specifically for a specific game and it all of a sudden decides it wants to be fuzzy
By the way, Aya, this mount you gave me is the most roguelike mount ever. It's what? Stop, stop. So this mount you gave me is the most roguelike mount ever. It's so consp it's, it's so inconspicuous. I know. I seem, to, I seem to get those a lot through my garrison, so the next time I get one, I'll probably do the same thing as random it off. Speaking of being inconspicuous, I fucking hate that they changed the icon for the sight dudes in Suramar. Like, they no longer have the old school true sight icon. Oh? They now have this little red sliver above their, uh, their heads. Pacing is pretty much the same as I do, except that uh, size once I'm in the comic, depending on the size I need. You what? Instead of resizing the entire spread uh, sprite sheet, I just resize it after I paste it into the comic. Nah, I do the entire sheet because I don't know if I'm going to need to go back and grab another sprite, and it's just easier this way. Because so once I'm done, anyway. yeah. Because I mean, once I'm done with this, I'm actually gonna save each of these sprite sheets with the size changes that I've made. Actually, cut some of the. Uh... Sheets are not standard at all, huh? No. For whatever reason, I would think that they would uh, use the same pattern everywhere, but they don't. I nabbed them off the spider's resource. I wonder just how they build it. I thought it was were stripped straight from the game. That means that every position should have been the same for everyone. Not necessarily. These are from uh, record keepers. They may have had to go through and like individually copy paste the shit. The game probably uses a sprite sheet as uh, common to everyone. It'd be a mess to code. <laughs> There's no telling. We've already seen that Square likes their spaghetti code, so... <laughs> because it's yummy. God damn, this is a lot of sprites. <laughs> Haven't done that in a while, huh? Yeah. I think the last comic you made was like, like in June or something? Something like that. A lot of shit's been going on since then. But I also generally don't make comics with this many characters in it. No, oh, that's for sure. Neither of us do. Uh... You know what I'm working on. <laughs> no, it's not just something common. It's of all kinds since I joined. I've been trying to do new stuff every time. Yeah. Shantoto, what extra garbage do they have on your sprite sheet? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. It's like uh, blinking effects and stuff, so they have recolors. Yeah, it was just... 
Oh, I think that might be part of a pe uh, getting hit sprite. It's just, it's really weirdly shaded. Because it's got a, just like a... It's like a negative. I'm guessing is when you get hit by certain spell effects, like thunder or something. Maybe. Are you... Why are you using Ishtola for? Don't the Guardian judge me. or something? Yeah, she... Y Ishtola and uh, Shantoto are the quote-unquote adults. <laughs> Her sprite, she is all over the goddamn place. What the hell? <laughs> there we go. A fucking standing sprite. Also, I've been looking for a Ishtola sprite for a while now. I just wanted an excuse to use it. Of the signs now up to Minfilia. Well, it was the, we're the first one they added Aida and Papalimo in the previous patch, and the next one's gonna be Minfilia. Minfilia is a paladin for whatever reason. Because that makes it, sense. Well, it's probably just to round up the ability because they have the healer with the stola, the black mage with the pa Papa Limo, Ida's a monk, rogue, so they figure they probably might may as well make a uh, Menphilia into a knight uh, type. To round, so just so you have a full team of Final Fantasy fourteen characters that is balanced. I I've always, I've always sort of seen it like I know it's not a fourteen class. I've always seen her as more of a freelancer. Who? Mentalia. Well, it's because Blacksmith's daughter isn't exactly a class. Well, freelancer is just sort of the base peasant class, I guess. And you know she if she... She doesn't really seem to have any specialization, so to speak. Like, the only weapon I've ever seen her use was a single dagger that Thancred gave her. Yeah. A uh, dancer because of her of filament. Maybe. Oh, that would be interesting. Have Menphilia come back for to be the dancer trainer. <laughs> hey, guys. I know I was off gallivanting in this other world, but I'm a dancer now. What? Up in the other world. We'll have dancer in the other world. I mean, the other world, it's uh, someone pointed out that they don't have the same jobs as we do. No, nope, they don't. So, maybe? But this is going to be the new TUC house? Well, I'm kind of basing it off of the old one. Like the original <laughs> one, because it was red. It was like a red brick house, right? Like the most terrible MS painting ever. <laughs> it really was. Well, no, it wasn't even MS Paint. It was a. It was Photoshop, but it, it had like a brick filter. Uh, the uh, for the version that I had that I don't think I have anymore. Just remembering, like uh, Comic Fifty, that uh, to not use some Whoop. MS Paint. Where with a triangle on top and a little door. First house ever. Oh, that one, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of tricks I don't know exactly. I'm not sure how you did that. Uh, Red coloring of the rocks without uh, just keeping the, all of the old gray on it. Uh, use color in Photoshop instead of uh, normal. Yeah, I'll show you in just a second. Hold on. So, let me go ahead and drop this back to normal. 
say so here's the dark colored stone right when you go into your paint your 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 paint tool just the you know the fill bucket tool up here on the, under mode you have normal which is what you're used to which is just making it look all flat but if you go to color and start filling things in it makes it it basically takes the same shades like i don't really know how to explain it but this is what i do to whenever i need to recolor something this is how i do it oh so it gives it basically just gives it a tint instead of uh, just giving it flat color exactly that's good to know i was okay. using some color replace instead and that was not always working correctly Whew. No, it usually doesn't. Still worth something. Just, just, uh, it looks odd like this. <laughs> what? I'm thinking it's missing a window. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not done building. I'm not done. So when I'm doing shit like this, it's all about the set building. So I use one panel, set things up how I want it to be. And then I start building the set around it. If you remember the original TOC house, TOC house comic that I did, where they were right next to each other, they didn't have windows. It just looks very weird to have like a, such a, a full a full wall without anything right next to the door or something. It feels like something is missing. Also, I'm not done. <laughs> so we love so we just love sconces. Or scones, as some people keep trying to say it. <laughs> Flair. Who the fuck calls it a scone? Flair called it a scone in Dragon Quest Builders. God damn it, Flair. Was it, was it me that said that? You said it too. Both you and Flair called them scones. It, it's kind of written like scones. But it's not. Really? In hindsight, I should have grabbed the door frame with the wall. Yep, that's what I. That's why I usually set up the the overall look first in the first panel, and then I copy the entire thing over, and I just I just adjust the character position. So that's why they always look that like they haven't even moved a pixel between two the two frames. Well, this one's going to have some movement, so. That's not, that's that's okay, not as important. But, yeah, it's okay, but I just... It's my method, essentially. I just... Uh, I just make sure that everything's in place where they should be, and then I copy the entire frame over, and I replace the characters by pasting new ones over them and, re and removing the, uh, the previous one. So then I can adjust how much movement I want them to have. Well, Flair has a point, but that can be also adjusted in both sides. I'm trying to find a good pumpkin sprite, because I apparently forgot to grab one. I picked up a few of them when I was trying to do that uh, that I'm a pumpkin pie comic. May let me look for it while you uh let's see how what was paste is over. Yeah, I found a decent one here. Oh, that one is cute also. Yeah, I have an idea. I, I, I just, just roll with this with me. That's fine. It's your comic. <laughs> me and my nitpicking, I can already tell the second door is not placed like the first one. It's a couple of pixels off, and it's fixable. I haven't gotten a chance. I haven't gotten around to fixing it yet. 
<laughs> That's a Super Mario World one, huh? I don't know. I just did a. I just. I just Google search Sprite Pumpkin. It feels it's like it's similar to the one. It's similar to the one from Mario World, though. Yeah. <laughs> It looks so happy! Oh god, it's also huge. I just love pasting things over and they're about uh, three times the size of my comic. Yeah, I've done that before too. On the subject of jack-o'-lanterns though, if we still had our dick-ass neighbors, I was going to make a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns and cut out basically people flipping the bird to the neighbor's house. Like what? It's just a jack-o'-lantern. Maybe I'm a bit of an asshole. Gee, you think? bad that I'm kind of wanting the pumpkin to fall down and just plop on top of Pi's head. Too obvious a punchline. Hello, Larry. Also, in before pumpkin flails. Secret to how I do mouths. I literally just fucking color match any red on the screen and use it.
So I've never said that my way of doing things was the most efficient. It just works for me. The important part is the results. I've learned differently than you have learned. I started with Coral Draw back in the day. The Photoshop was entirely unknown until like a few years ago. Was that supposed to be an Ico sprite? Yes. Huh. Have you not been? Have you not seen the sprites that I've been using? Yeah, I just didn't catch the Ico one until just now when you zoomed up real close into it. I'm also running around doing world quests, so I'm sort of switching my intention between the two. It's also a matter of trying to find the right sprites to use. These don't really have a lot of movement in their sprite sheet, so... Now, you would need to go uh, to Final Fantasy VI to get more, and there isn't that much more uh, to use anyway. Not for Realm, anyways. Well, the other thing with these sprites is they are slightly different uh, than their originals. Yeah, they had to standardize most of them. And, and then, like, Rydia's uh, kid sprite is completely different from her uh, original kid sprite here. I think it's a little bit more detailed than the original game had. Yep. Okay, this world quest makes me feel mean. I'm running around kicking raven nests.
Oh god, now I have to make them try to do a huddle. That's gonna be difficult. A hole? A huddle. Tiny sprites, lots of them in a tiny little huddle. <laughs> It's just gonna look like a pixelated mess. This might start making more sense once I get to the point where I'm putting in dialogue. Ah, uh, for most people. That's what... When I make my comic, I usually try to insert the text just to try to figure out if I need to, to rework the looks of the comic. Sometimes I figure that, eh, that doesn't really flow well. I need to readjust. Like, add a... Like add a, a panel or two or remove some, depending. Now, when I start, I have a basic script in my head already. Very seldomly do I actually move things around once I've got that idea in my head. Sometimes I have the entire script in my head, but sometimes I just need to adjust it midway. I realize this is not flowing correctly. Like the last one I did, they had to uh, adjust a little bit because I couldn't, I couldn't figure out the punchline at first. So I reduced it to three panels and added the fourth for the actual uh, punchline.
Each telesprites are weird. Well, well, those were entirely created for Record Keeper. Well, they had her on the they had her on the lanyards and stuff too. I think they took the lanyards from this because there were she wasn't Record Keeper before that. Oh, I hate it when I do that. I really hope we can help this fellow up. Eh, who knows what's gonna happen. At least it doesn't seem like they're heading to a point that uh, they, they will quote-unquote kill off all of them. <laughs> if they did a second time, people were, would be pissed, I think. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta join up my party for the third fucking time! Final god. Fantasy XIV Party Builder. Basically, yes. No, the first time was a surprise. People didn't really expect it, and that was cool. But the second time around, it was just... Don't you have other ideas, guys? You know, like what, ha like what happened with that... Uh, with that wine during the last uh, cutscene. Oh my god, I would have been fucking livid. Exactly. That they played with it was interesting, too, because I'm pretty sure they knew that what they were doing. But if oh, it they... had actually happened, people would have been pissed. Yeah, yeah they, they, they definitely played with it, and I was like, no, don't you fucking do it. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, Naylene. Oh, I just noticed your uh, your post on Facebook about Dragon Quest Minecraft Green Teleporter Teleporter Go. 
Oh, is the fucking link still not working right? No, it, it doesn't update, uh, like, immediately, especially it when you do Facebook posts. doesn't update, post. like, hardly ever. Yeah, the Facebook post is kind of weird. But I don't have to think too hard about a comic. It usually takes me between 30 minutes and an hour. This one seems to be a little bit more work, though. Oh, it's because of all the characters in it. Yeah. I'm talking on the average. Honestly, some of the, the comics that took me the longest to do, oddly enough, was like the Yelling Birds. There's a lot of text in that one, that's why. It's more of the text and re writing it in the styles. <laughs> I, that takes me a little bit more processing power than just putting co uh, pictures together. stuck on a tall rock. Good job.
There we go. That's what I was looking for. And now to find the thing that I need. What are you looking for? Uh, casting sprites from Final Fantasy IV. Oh. The, isn't that in the list there? No. There are casting spells. Well, it's it's the exact sprites. Because that would be odd if Record Keeper didn't have casting animations. <laughs> Like you know the effects that play on the characters when they actually do a sp when they actually cast a spell. Oh, you mean spell effects? Yeah, the casting okay. spell effects. Oh, actually, yes, it is in the game, but they probably didn't put it in the sprite sheets. Yeah. Like you know the difference between the the white, the black, and the summoning magic is in the game. Why isn't it letting me fucking skin this goddamn fellow baby? I'm here with my mouse over your screen and trying to scroll up. Good job. Habit. Weren't you trying to do that with Dragon Quest the other day when I was playing too? Yes. <laughs> I was trying to turn the camera off. With your mouse on a game that's played on PlayStation. Oh, well, it's not like I had a controller in my hands. I was just doing like Final Fantasy XIV where when I turned my camera. Bottom half of Rania Legs. just hanging off the bottom of the panels. There we go. Legs. I promise there's a method to my madness here. Oh, I'm sure. It always looks on until you're completely done. Depends on how long you're making this. Just two more panels. Okay. In theory. In theory. <laughs> I make no promises. I, I I planned a comic out one time that was supposed to be four panels that ended up being ten, so... Well, Tunod made an eight-panel comic that ended up being ten. Yeah, that's true. And he labeled it wrong. <laughs> Eight panel special. Three, about 15 years later, I look at it. So that's a, that's 10 panels. <laughs> I tell Tunod, he said something along the lines of. I, what was it? That he said something like doesn't matter or he saw you saw nothing. Probably, probably a you saw nothing. That was back when uh, I was sending him the, the bad translations. You should realize that Pi is apparently missing the tip of his finger on that sprite. Yep. 
There we go. Fixed. After like 10 years. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was on purpose, so I didn't fix it when I. But I haven't used it uh, very often either. It's actually one of my favorite superposed sprites. Of course, it's pie after all. Pie is just that character we can do absolutely anything with. Yep. Oh my. If you Shut knew up, his original, if you knew his original character, then that oh my would fit. come across a dragon. I stick my dick in it. Pretty sure Sarab's done that once. No, actually the question was the I think I remember correctly the question was was it a sexy dragon? <laughs> to which I looked at him and went, wait what? <laughs> that sounds about as bad as the gazebo story. Hi again. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> she comes back to sexy dragons. Yup. Or gazebos. I mean, if I remember Alex Straza from uh, Wrath, I'd hit it in humanoid form. I, I have no idea where this conversation was going, though. I just came in. <laughs> uh, I mean, I wouldn't say no. Something about uh, Lyria said something about sticking... It, it, you see a dragon, you stick your dick in it. So, apparently, how it actually went is you see a dragon... What is it a sexy dragon? So close enough to the mark. Hmm. Holy Q on fourteen. Oh? Yeah, it's Saturday. <laughs> oh. I haven't even been logged in. I had oh wait. Were they supposed to be they haven't poked? Huh? What? I I thought Dart's group was supposed to do something this morning. Mm -hmm. Well, judging from Discord, Dark is working. No, Darth. With oh, the, th. the one that stands in fire. You know, Naylin, I don't I don't know, and I don't I don't feel it's something that I'm qualified to uh, answer. Yeah, Dart just said 539 players in queue. 539? Jesus Christ. Okay, that's not just Saturday. Yeah. yeah, that's about what I logged into. But it's going down like 100 at a time. What so, blew I mean, up? It's... I, I don't know. Square. That moment when you're too lazy to walk back to the flight point, so you decide to just wait two minutes for your flight whistle.
God damn it, Nailene. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> that pumpkin, though. <laughs> It's not from the bottom, it's from the top that they were uh, lining yeah. up. You're right. There was like a fraction of it at the bottom. Get through queue connection with server loss. Wait, did that happen? Yeah. Ow. So, still oh, problem. so it's the shit from the other day all over again. <laughs> yeah, rip, it started me over again. I'm not really in a hurry to do anything anyway. I'm trying to. It's not, it's not on Reddit. It may oh, have wait. just started. There it is. Server down again. 29 minutes ago. I didn't take note of the number of the error. <laughs> Some people on those threads, though. That pumpkin, though. Someone says here, fuck's sakes, fix your issue, Square. I don't want to have to experience the real, the real world. It's full of altity thing, like bills and responsibilities. Hmm. Someone answers, my wife hits me when I f refer to her as my retainer, and she never brings me back any rare items. Holy fuck the size <laughs> of that pumpkin. <laughs> also, goddamn. That fakes. Hi, Moochie. Aya putting a pumpkin ring in the comment, uh, comic. Have any of you played RO, uh, Ragnarok Online? Back in the ages ago. Pr the pumpkin reminds server. me of like the Halloween pourings yeah. that they had. Yeah, the, the pourings have the same face. There was a lot of awesome art that came from that game. Yep. As far as sprite works go, that game was pretty, was very pretty. 
Oh no, I was Hell's... talking about like fan art. That's oh good. yeah, you're not wrong. Hells and I would go on private servers a lot to try and recapture the magic. It's been a while though, and it's gotten kind of stale. I had the code to actually uh, make my own server. I had to start. I had dabbed around trying to make new stuff in it. Yeah, Hells did that for a while too. Kirk had his own private server for the longest time. <clears throat> Speaking of pretty games, I wonder if Dungeon Fighter is still going on. The game is actually kind of fun from what little bit I played of it. Dungeon Fighter Online? Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Wait, what? Dungeon Fighter Online is on Steam? Yeah. Oh, fuck. This pumpkin looks so happy. downloading meth downloading what dungeon fighter online ah Christ, this is so hard to see with this background. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I just write the text on another panel that is easier to read and just move it after. <laughs> Especially when I was doing those uh, comics that had a black background. one way.
Wow, that's small. I never go lower than 10. <laughs> There's a reason I did 10 on that one. Yeah, I saw 7 at first. Last year we come to this house, I swear. Or maybe it's just something like uh, every fucking year. I have a dog staring at me. Well, sort of <laughs> trying to stare at me. He's like staring at my chair arm, but he's putting his he's, he's putting his head on my leg. Is it paw time now? No, he doesn't put his paws on anybody. He's all fucking weird about putting his anything on his feet. He's 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 a prissy little drama queen. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, I went with that. I went with that throwback. <laughs> yep, I can tell. That's been a while, actually. What the dog treats? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The dog treats was one of the uh, off year ones, even. Yep, the years that you were only doing Halloween comics. <laughs> Literally, like three Halloween comics in a row. That's all that was done for a few years. That's all I had inspiration for, man. Yep.
Yeah, it looks like your pumpkin has a beard. <laughs> Flump beard. Pumpkin beard pirate. Frickin' pie. <laughs> I'm gonna be real lazy with this text bubble. Yeah! Okay, all of my text is on the wrong spot. Yeah, I usually shove them all to the way to the up the top of my comic every time. Yeah, I do that after the fact. As you can see. Yep. Well, that's same thing, really. And then I put my boxes right underneath them, so that way they always overlap other things. That's not? Huh? Oh, that's it's not? cutting them off like... Oh. Yeah, it's cutting off like... That's not how... I catch my typos quicker than you do, damn it! I <laughs> caught it as I was going through and doing it. That's how I, I usually do this shit. Now, now it's like adjusting things panel by panel, so... Yeah. Throw me off and shit. Ha! You don't have uh, borders? I do that last. Ah. You'll see. As I just used the, the nat natural border, the automatic border that goes with the, the boxes. Oh, that's my bro. 
Hey there, Stella's brother. Yeah, he's a bro phone. Bro phone. Hey there, bro phone. <laughs> Hello, this is Brophone. Hi, Brophone. I, this is Dad. No. Aww. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna bet he's gonna have a few questions for me tomorrow. No. Oh. Eh. Mainly, what the fuck? I forgot about it, actually, bro. I had other things to take care of this morning. Where are you off to, Firefox? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of forgot about it. So we're talking this week. I have an extra... My video card is a 760, and I have an extra 550 laying around, but that one uh, doesn't actually output anything. So we were, to, we were talking about just putting it in and see if... Because uh, apparently Windows 10 is able to combine them without using actually using Sly or anything like that. Like you can add, put one card to use PhysiX and the other card just outputs. I figured it was, wasn't kinda gonna cost anything to try it, at least. Um, balls. Balls? Of steel? No, that was blades. Now the pumpkin ended up on top of everything else layer-wise. Like, his shoulder is just watching and going, should I intervene? Uh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> See, he tells like a little story on its own. Yep. I'm glad someone caught it. Hey, my bro is talking about your uh, music. Oh, yeah, it's it's that that's the playlist. <laughs> I've been caught. Oh no. Need one second. I gotta. Oof. I gotta put the dog out real quick. He's whining.
I return. Oof. Yay. I choose with OBS. Choose. I, I stream with OBS. Wah, words. We can choose a quality of our stream? I didn't know that, actually. Yeah, that was not available from work, actually. At work, I, I wish I was able to reduce the source quality because otherwise it might actually allow me to uh, have sound only. Yeah. Maybe because it's not a, a full uh, a full screen application or something. Uh, no, I doubt that has anything to do with it. Because I'm actually doing a monitor capture for this. That might be the difference. Maybe it's the difference between a game capture or not. I, I don't know. I have no clue. My brother does a whole lot of streaming stuff, so... Is this how you do your uh, text bubbles too, by the way, Sal? More or less. I use the automatic border, as I said. Then I just combine the... When I you combine them, they remove the borders uh, when, the, when they're several o overlapping. Oh, I more meant like the tails. Yeah, pretty much. I use a box and then I... I don't deform exactly... It. Yeah, deform it, except I... I think mine is faster, but whatever. No, I was having problems with that one. My mouse was being weird. Ah. Uh, because you seem to twiddle with it a whole lot more than I do. I'd, mine is pretty uh, quick. 
quick and dirty. Nah, my mouth is being dumb. Whoops, I missed one. There we go. Your method works uh, of adding the border after is kind of smart because if uh, you have to do any modification, it's pretty much automat just automatically fills. Yeah. Something I should keep in mind, but like I said, whatever the method you use, as long as the end result is uh, what you're looking for. <laughs> How do you combine them so fast? Uh, Control E, merge layers. Ah. I always just right click the menu. <laughs> I didn't know about the, all the shortcuts yet. General rule of thumb when I'm doing the uh, tails to the speech bubbles is I try to point it at their mouth. Like as best as I can. Even if it doesn't reach entirely to their mouth. Almost.
I'm just gonna try something real quick. See how well I like it. I do this once in a while, I experiment with some like silly stuff and like shading and shadowing. Like Flair was complaining yeah. about how everything was too bright with the walls, so... Yeah, I would try to tone it down a little bit maybe, the red is very bright. Well, if you remember from way back when, that was the color of the house on the outside. Hey, but they're kind of passing at night, also. Yeah. Well, you'll see. That's why I'm adding a like a gradient to add shadows, and it should tone down the colors a bit too. Yeah, it's helping. Reminds me of what what I did with that uh, the go the Sofia Extreme uh, comic. I felt that was there would be something weird because of the TV position and such if I tr if I didn't put uh, a lighting effect to it. All world going in under emergency maintenance at warning the character screen. Oh, for Final Fantasy? Yep. Something, something, here's my surprise face. All primal data center world emergency maintenance. Something, something, here's my surprise face. Wait, it's just primal? Yep. Started Bu about 10 minutes ago. Bullshit. Whoops. Damn it. So whoever's watching is getting spoiled for Monday's comic. Yup. Damn it, I tried strolling up again. The best. So why is the entire page moving and not just a picture? Oh, wait. <laughs> good job. Good, good job. Habit. Good job. 
Hey, but usually when I'm staring at Photoshop, it's me, not Aya. Shut up! I see you playing with Photoshop. I used to a lot. Never did sprite comics though. Suddenly, ten panels. See, I like to think that the Halloween comics are like their own special continuity, basically. Oh yeah, they're not really part of the story, but yeah. I mean, whatever, whatever story we'd be into, Halloween just take precedence. Yep. Whoops. Give me a, give me like a spooky font. A spooky font? Yeah. I think I had one for one of my comics. The one I used for, uh, with the fake roll uh, face. I was talking in demon speech. Uh, what is it called? Let me look it up. I was trying to find an evil font to use for that, so that's what I found. Let's see. Where is it? Manson Knights. Do I have that font? Probably not. I had to download it. Nope. Uh, it's, it's an A. It's called B N Manson Knights. The full name of it when I search for it. Is it B N? Yeah, B N Manson Knights. I don't know what the B N is for. I don't know. Manson is in Marilyn Manson? Yeah, M-A-N-S-O-N. -A -A it doesn't mean it's Marilyn Manson, though. It's, I just don't know what it stands for. That's the one. I figured it was spooky enough of a font. Too spooky, five for me. B N. It was there. I saw it.
Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> I do that all the time. <sighs> See, when I make comics like this, they take a while because I have a specific vision in mind for what I want to do with them. So whoever says sprite comics are bullshit little things that people slap together because they have no artistic talent, fuck you. <laughs> that's Yelling Bird that said that, not me. No, no. See, you, you had Yelling Bird say that because that's a thing that people actually say. I freely admit that Sprite Comics is not the same artistic talent, but it's still a sort of art in itself. It's 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 still editing. I still have to go through and like put you know, make sure all the composition's right. The characters are still moving around correctly. Like nothing's really like bad that I'm not worrying about like fucking miscolored text bubbles and shit. No, but just imagine that if you were doing the art yourself from A to Z, how much longer it would take. Actually, depending on how, how good the person is at art and their art style, it could be shorter. <laughs> yeah, but not with the coloring, the special mm. effects, Oops. the retouches. Ah, There's a lot of things that can take a lot of time with, when messing around with the... Uh... Because basically it would make the art first, and then it would make the arrangement with Photoshop. So it would be twice as much work overall. There we go. That's a good name for this one. Yeah, that works. Trick, trick, trick! <laughs> I like this one. This one came out pretty good. It, it is good. That's the thing with me in Halloween comics is if I can't, if, if they don't, if, if while I'm thinking of it, if it doesn't make me laugh, then it's not worth writing. I cannot say everything I made made me laugh, but you know, that's kind of the point you try to. Because if you don't find it funny, who will? Yeah. Oh, no, to be fair some... though, to be fair though, I have made some comics in my time that were an absolute shot in the dark. I'm, I did not think that I that they were funny at all, and they ended say. up they ended up being some of the more popular ones. That's what I'm gonna say. That's pretty much was my feeling uh, when I made some of the comics recently. Like the that last one, I added the punchline. You said that's something you would write. I look at that. It's just, is it really that funny? Yeah, I thought it was hilarious. I, I don't know. I thought it was kind of me. I had to, I had to try to make something funny out of it, but I didn't feel it was that funny. So yeah, so it's shot of the dark. That happens all the time. I can't remember what my uh. Trick, trick, trick. Halloween. To no, Halloween no, 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 no. The URL for my button was. Oh. It's been a bit. <laughs> yeah. That's why it, I, ha I actually keep a page open with the uh, one I can just copy paste over. No, that's not it. The last one you did was 442 from the looks of it. I can cheat though. There it is. <laughs> I figure I may as well go, with, you know, take it all the way through and show people exactly how it's uh, how it's done, right? Like how we yep. do everything on the back end. Eh, it's not like there's any secrets or anything. Nah, it's just forum stuff. Just that we have access and no one else does. Oh my God, your browser tabs. <laughs> what? Oh. Many of them? No. That's not a lot at all. No. No, I'm just, uh... I have that, trolling. I have more than that per computer on my two computers. 
I was gonna say like I have I have three other Chrome windows open with uh, ju with just as many or more tabs. So. <laughs> The idea was that you'd think you left something unseemly in one of them. No, like, oh. the, the, the most, um... I, I looked, actually, when you said that, I'm like, do I have something weird open? <laughs> but no, the, uh, the most unseemly thing I had on there was Oompa Loompa Sprite as a Google, a Google image search. <laughs> this is for a different punchline that I was thinking of writing, but ended up scrapping. Oompa Loompas? Can't have that! Remember, set it as future board. Yeah, I know. Not that I care if we put it early. <laughs> Actually, starting to get kind of hungry. Probably gonna take a break once I'm done with this. There we go. God damn! Shit, that was seven years ago. I made that comic. <laughs> Two thousand nine. Wow. I didn't even name this one. Huh? So I didn't even name that strip. It was just Halloween 2009. Yep. It could have been called Dog Treats, I guess. Yeah. Or just Treats, question mark. And posted. And there we go. And uh, that will be up on Monday. I forgot to attach it, because I always do that. Shit. <laughs> More behind the scenes. Things I always forget to do. You're the best. I am the best. Dude, I've been doing this shit forever. Always forgetting to put comics, uh, actually post the comic along with it. I know. Once I actually had to pull it up out from a uh from Imager or Reddit to, uh, no, uh, on Discord that is, to there we go. actually post it for you. That was pretty funny. There we go. That's, that's how that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Now you look what it looks like on the forum right on the front page. Yep. I always have to make sure that it actually uh, doesn't break anything, even though I, it shouldn't. But all right, that was fun. Nice. I see a whole lot of new to tags on stuff I I made. Yeah, I don't usually click it until someone <laughs> comments on it. <laughs> but uh, you're free to go through and post something on this one, so if you want. Yeah, I might just put a little thing, but I don't have much to say more than this. I but, guess. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the stream down for a bit. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can grab something to eat, and then I'm going to come back up with either Dragon Quest Builders or World of Final Fantasy. Probably Builders, since I've got Salad here today. So, um, yeah, I'll be back here and give me like an hour. 
Yeah, it's about two right now, so I'll be back up at three. I will see you guys later. See you in a bit.